Hey everybody, welcome back to another Deck Profile Friday. In this video, we'll actually be covering uh, one of the uh, newest and one of the ac actually most popular decks uh, in the current Sword and Shield format, updated obviously with Lost Origin, and that is Giratina V-Star. Alright, it's a, it's a pretty cool Pokemon. Um, it's... It's got an incredible uh, ability, um, you know, good good HP, no weakness, which is absolutely amazing because a lot of decks take advantage of it. And uh, yeah, it's it's just pretty awesome. So, uh, so without further ado, let's get into the deck profile. So we have to start for Comfy, right? So Comfy here. Um, is there for its flower selecting uh, ability once during a turn if this pokemon is in the active spot you may look at the top two cards of your deck and put one of them into your hand and then put the other into the lost zone right and that's really the whole point of this deck right um that's the whole point of lost origin is uh to use the lost zone right and we want to be able to get cards in the Lost Zone for the uh, numerous um, abilities and, and, and trainer cards that uh, we have in the deck that take advantage of that. Uh, and then everything else with Comfy is pretty standard. 70 HP, 1 Retreat, no Resistance, Weakness to Metal because it's Fairy, right? And then it's Attack there uh, for Psychic Colorless, Spinning Attack is 30 we do play Psychic Energy, so if you absolutely needed to, right, to win the game with a Comfy, you could probably do it. So, that is the Comfy. Then we have a pair of Cramorant and a single Sableye. So, Cramorant there, another really awesome Pokemon. It's absolutely hilarious, too, uh, just with the way that it looks. 110 HP, uh, one retreat, no resistance, weakness to lightning. So that's a decent weakness to have right now. And uh, uh, it's mainly there for its attack and its ability. Its ability lost provision says if you have four or more cards in the lost zone, ignore uh, all energy in this Pokemon's attack costs. Right, so this is really easy to achieve by using Comfy twice and playing a Colress's experiment. And then you're able to use the attack spit innocent, innocently there uh, for two water and a colorless, but it's usually free for 110. And then this attack's damage isn't affected by weakness. Uh, so that's... Kind of not so great because it'd be nice to knock out Radiant Charizard. Radiant Charizard's a really uh, popular uh, Pokemon being played right now. But it does a lot of other things. It takes out Comfies. It takes out uh, Sableyes. It takes out Opposing Cramorants, right? Um, uh, Mews, Drizzles, etc., right? Uh, and that is it for that. And then we have the Sableye there, 80 HP, one retreat, resistance to fighting, weakness to dark. Uh, two attacks there, scratch for colorless for 20. And then lost mine. So that's why we have it in there is for that attack uh, for a psychic energy. And one of the requirements is that you must have 10 or more cards in the lost zone. Uh, and then if you do... You can put 12 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. So it's a neat little snipe attack, right? It's a late game card. Um, it can knock out opposing Cramorants. Um, it can set up for KOs on, you know, other big Pokemon, right? It's pretty awesome. And that is those two, right? That's the, the setup and the secondary attackers. And then we have the boy itself, three Giratina V star, and then three Giratina V, just the three three line. So the V there, 220 HP, two retreat, uh, no resistance, no weakness, which is pretty average for a dragon type. 
Uh, Abyss Seeking there for a Cullis. Look at the top four cards uh, of your deck and put two of them into your hand. Put the other cards in the Lost Zone. So that's pretty cool. Shred there is very similar to Dragonite V's attack from um, uh, Evolving Skies. It does 160, right? And uh, it's uh, for a Psychic, a Grass, and a Cullis. And it's not affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Pretty cool. And then we have the V-Star. So this is why we play the deck. 280 HP. Uh, that 280 has been a magic number for the last you know few years. All right. Um, two Retreat. No Resistance, no Weakness again. And then an amazing attack and an amazing V-Star power. So the attack there lost impact for a Grass, Psychic, and Colorless. Does 280. Put two energy attached to your Pokemon in the Lost Zone. Right, which is, you know, it's unfortunate, but the more cards we get there, right, the faster we can use our trainer cards. And then Star Requiem. Right, for a Grass and a Psychic. Uh, you can only use this attack if you have 10 or more cards in the Lost Zone. So the same restriction as Sableye. Your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out. Right, so this is great to use on VMAXs. Right, really high HP VMAXs like Kiram. Um, it's great against Muse. You know, they're not really high HP VMAXs, but um, it's one of the VMAXs that are being played right now. Uh, and yeah, we can knock that out. So pretty cool, pretty awesome. And that is uh, the main attacker of the deck. And then lastly, we have the support Pokemon in Luminion V and Radiant Greninja. Uh, so Luminion there, 170 HP, one retreat, no weakness. Pardon me, no, no resistance, weakness to lightning. Pardon me. Uh, and then Luminous Sign there. When you play it from your hand onto your bench, you may search your deck for a supporter card and then reveal it and put it into your hand. So this is great um, on that very first turn of the game, right? Uh, to grab that Colores' experiment, right? And then you can play that uh, the next turn. Or if you want second, you can play it during uh, your turn. And then you're able to get the, that uh, enough cards in there, providing you use Comfy twice uh, to be able to attack with Cramorant there. And then it's attack there, Aqua Return for a Water and two Colors. You can use this attack. It's an option. It does 120 and then shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. So that makes it reusable, which is cool. Radiant Greninja there, 130 HP, one retreat, no resistance, weakness to lightning. Uh, so practically the same as Luminion. It's got a really awesome ability and attack there. Concealed cards, the ability. You may discard an energy card from your hand in order to use this. Once during your turn, you may draw two cards. So extra card draw, which is really cool. And then it's attack there. Moonlight Shuriken, discard two energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 90 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon, 90 each. So this is really, really good. It's great at taking out, taking out Drizzles. It's great out taking uh, Comfies and Sableyes out, right? Just a really awesome card. And that is it for the Pokemon. So... Um, a couple things that you could play in here is you could play Drapion there. Um, Drapion V if there's a lot of Mew Genesect in your area, right? Or if there's like a lot of uh, Rapid Strike or Single Strike, right? Um, I don't expect them to be played, but it is an option, right? Um, and then, you know, depending on your area, right? If there's, it depends what's being played, right? If there's a lot of Palkia, Maybe wise to put in a lightning type in there, right? I'm not too sure what you could use, but maybe uh, Raikou V, right? Maybe um, uh, like the, the amazing rare Raikou, maybe Zeraora, 
right? The, the, the big problem with that is just like the, um, the typing, right? You would have to put lightning energy in the deck and that might throw it off. Um, yeah, so that's, that's an option. Um, a lot of Arceus, right? Arceus or whatever in the area. You can maybe put in some fighting. Um, not really too sure about that. Nothing really kind of comes to mind. Um, yeah, just a few options there. Now on to the trainers, supporters and stadiums. We've got for supporters four Colores Experiment, two Bosses Orders, a single Roxanne, and then a training cart for our stadium. Colores Experiment there. Look at the top five, put three of them into your hand, and then the other two cards into the Lost Zone. So really, really good. Uh, it's a great card, and it's what we can, uh, you know, ideally we want to be using on our second turn. Uh, of the game if we went first so we can get that attack off with uh, the Cramorant. Uh, boss's orders is just really good. Uh, you can knock out whatever you want to knock out, right? Um, it's really great with uh, um, Giratina there being able to deal 280 to, um, to a V-Star. Right, really awesome. Roxanne there is a nice um, come from behind card, right? You know, putting a you know a huge restriction on your opponents uh, on, on their hand size, right? Well, potentially knocking uh, out their drizzles with the Greninja, right? So they that they can't uh, they can't uh, search for cards, right? To get back in the game, that's a, a really big play there. And if you combo Path to the Peak in here, uh, that's another stadium you could uh, potentially put in, right? That's a that's a pretty big game winning combo there. Um, and then obviously the training court, you can get back our basic energy from the discard pile. So that's really, really good. And that is it for the supporters and the stadium. And then we have the trainer cards. So the trainer cards are really, really easy. Um, we're probably using, uh, probably the best searcher in the game right now in battle VIP pass. We've got four Mirage Gates. Four scoop up nets. Okay, and then we have three quick ball and two escape ropes. So these are the four threes and twos. Battle VIP pass searches out two basic Pokemon and puts them onto your bench. Can only be used during the first turn of the game, uh, which is really good. Mirage Gates. You can only use this card if you have seven or more cards in the Lost Zone. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards of different types and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. So this was exactly made for Giratina, right? Because it requires a Psychic and a Grass, which is what you typically want to grab. Scoop Up Net there allows us to use our Comfies to reuse them, right? It also allows us to use our Radiant Greninja, you know, again and again, right? Quick Ball is just some more search there, right? It also discards a card from our hand. Um, escape Rope, pr practically the, the same thing uh, as the Scoop Up Net, right? Um, typically when we play Escape Rope, we want to either be um, getting a nice KO on something on uh, your opponent's side there, or we want to be using that Comfy uh, like a, a second Kofi, pretty much. And that's it for the fours, threes, and twos of the trainer cards. And then now we're on to the singles. Right? The singles are, you know, there's obviously one of them in the deck. We do have a single air balloon, an energy recycler, a Hisuian heavy ball, a loss of vacuum. A ordinary rod and a switch. So air balloon, two less retreat. Right, a lot of things have two retreat in here. Um, energy recycler, shuffle up to five basic energy cards from your disco pile into your deck. Right, so 
we play this because we do discard a lot of energy um, from Radiant Greninja as well as getting knocked out. Hisui and Heavy Ball to get um, our one ofs, our one of Pokemon that are in the, in the deck like uh, Sableye or Luminion V or Radiant Greninja. Lost Vacuum is a neat little tech in here, right? Um, we uh, disc, we can put a card from our hands into the Lost Zone, which fuels our um, our uh, Mirage Gate there, and um, you know Cramorant and, and Giratina V Star, right, etc. Choose the tool or uh, choose a tool attached to any Pokemon or any Stadium in play. And put it in the lost zone. We can so we can target ours, right? We can target our own air balloon or our training court there, just so we can get an extra card in there quicker. Ordinary rod, uh, shuffle two Pokemon, up to two Pokemon and up to two basic energy cards from our discard pile into our deck. Uh, so this is great on Giratina there. As uh, you know, some sometimes during the game, right? When we're going to be putting stuff into the Lost Zone, we actually might be putting Tina pieces into the Lost Zone, right? Just to advance the game state, right? So that's actually going to come in pretty handy if one of our Giratinas get knocked out. And then switch, pretty much switches to anything. So, And that is the one ofs. And that actually ends all the trainer supporters in the stadium. So now on to the energy we do play five Psychic, four Grass, three Water, and two Capture. Psychic, obviously for Giratina and Sableye, as well as Comfy if we need to. Grass is there for Giratina, right? A lot are playing uh, the Leafeon V as well from Evolving Skies for the Energy Attachment, and you can do that as well, right? Uh, the water there, obviously, is for the Gradient Greninja, right, as it's a neat little attacker, or the Luminion. And then Capture Energy, uh, it just makes it a little bit more consistent between Battle VIP Pass um, and Quick Ball, right? It's just an extra card to get our basic Pokemon out. And that is the deck, everybody. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, I can't uh, wait to hear your thoughts on it, right? Give the deck a try. Let me know how it does. Um, I'm not too, too bad with this deck. I actually, I'm, I wouldn't say that I'm a really big fan uh, of this, as it just seems like it's a little bit too, um, how do I say this, like too flippy, you know, to, to rely, like, you can't really control um, the cards that you're going to be sending to the Lost Zone. You know, it's like whatever two cards come up top, right? Or whatever five cards come up top, you know. Um, you could have five extremely good cards, and then you have to put two of them away, and you lose those two for the rest of the game, right? It just seems like it's like a lot of trouble. And... Um, yeah, just not my my play style, but it's really cool, and a lot, a lot, a lot are making it work. Um, I think it did uh, pretty well at the regional last weekend in Peoria, uh, Illinois. There, so that was really cool. And um, yeah, give the deck a try and let me know what you think. So there you go, everybody. If you uh, if you like what you're hearing and seeing. Um, Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm always trying to produce quality content like this. On su uh, Sundays, we have our, our opening videos. So I open up a TCG product, right, and show what you get in it and what's inside it. And, and also kind of comment uh, about the product. Uh, Wednesdays are our live gameplay Wednesdays. So uh, that's where I'm used on uh Pokemon TCG Online, playing some some games there and kind of just going through like all my moves and uh, you know just a little bit about the deck that I'm using, right? So uh, that's it's pretty cool. And then on Fridays or Deck Profile Fridays, so that's when uh, I 
play a deck, um, or, or I guess not play, I guess show off a deck um, from pretty much any format. Not just our current Sword and Shield on format, but it could be a past format, right? It can go all the way back to just base only. And, um, yeah, I'll just share uh, just a little bit about it, like uh, how it plays, right? The weaknesses of the deck, what was it good against, what was it bad against, um, et cetera, et cetera. And actually, speaking of this, uh, this deck is not too, too bad, right? Um I, I, would, I would say, like, the, the matchups, right? You know, with any game, it always comes down to, you know, what you draw and, and how consistent you are, right? Um, I would think that there are other decks, personally, that are more uh, consistent like the, than, than this, like Palkia uh, and Teleon, right, or any Arceus variant, right? But I think this still can get the job done. So in turn and in, and matchups, um, I I don't really see like it having a too too bad of a matchup, right? Um, it is really tough to deal deal with, you know, if you're able to get that star requiem uh, off pretty soon and knock out like a V Max, right? Or, or um hit per hit that perfect 280 HP, right? Um on that like on the on the Palkia or Arceus V Star. I would say that um, with the Palkia matchup, you're 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 able to play around it a lot easier because you're able to one hit KO them while keeping your bench small, which is absolutely huge. Um, Mew, right? Mew might be a tough one just because of the explosiveness on it. Right, uh, and you also can't get a one-hit KO on them unless you play Choice Belt or uh, if you if you tech in the Drapey on there. Right, um, I've also seen some people play Path to the Peak in here, right? Which is another option you can play Path to the Peak, right, to shut down those Fusion Strike systems on the Genesect. Right, you can rock just you do that, and then you like you you play path, and then you just rock sand while they're ahead, and then like they're gonna struggle. So and then you just take the game from there, right? And um, yeah, that's probably about it. So, all right, there you go, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video.